Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your monthly love forecast for what does your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you want to know about, what does your love interest secretly want to tell you for October? If you guys want to check out the one for September, it's already up in the playlist. You can go check it out right now. All right, so, so this is going to be the person you're thinking about, the one you want to know about the most, okay? So while I'm shuffling, you can think about this person. If you don't have a person in mind, okay so just think about a particular person you want to know about what they secretly want to tell you and i want to thank you guys for liking sharing subscribing and thank you to my members i really appreciate all of your support also the eye of zen is up on amazon.com all the information is in the description box below all right and as you guys know i don't like to take up too much time i do have a free reading contest going on all the information will be at this end, end of this video so stick with me till the end i'm trying to get it all out guys <laughs> and um my uh, personal readings will be opened again October 1st. So if you're interested in being on the list, hit me up on my website. All right. So what is going on with my Aries love interest? The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Uh, what does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries for October? Show me the cards you need see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so we're going to do nine cards for um, how um, what they secretly want to tell you. And then I've added back the three cards for what is the potential outcome of this connection because you guys have told me last time you're like i like the outcome to know what's going to happen with this connection okay so and also with the nine cards obviously it's going to be more than nine cards because i'm going to layer and layer and layer you know you guys know how i am okay one two three four five six seven, eight, and nine, okay? And then we're gonna put these three cards right here aside. I'm just gonna put that there. And then we will look at the outcome after this, okay. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I just like to pick up on the energies just because I wanna see, you know, what's going on here intuitively. And then we're gonna go into the definitions of the cards and go dig deeper and deeper and deeper, okay? And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both. Let's jump right in. And if you have any suggestions, if, if you want me to improve upon this, this reading, please let me know in the comments below. Okay. Okay. I feel like this person, I feel like this person is like, all right, let me just hurry up and like come in and, you know, and just, uh, just I want to be a part of this, you know, I want, I want to, I want to be around Aries. Aries is like a lot of fun. Um, I have a good time. Uh, I feel like this person is just like, all right, well, let me just hang around here and see what happens with this situation kind of energy. This person just wants to reach up and they just want to grab you and they just want to hold you. They want to like kiss you. Um, this person is like hesitant though, because like they are definitely watching you, spying on you, looking at you from afar, admiring you. I'm just not, I'm not going to say it's like a, like a, a weird kind of energy, but they do admire you. Okay. They admire your energy. They admire who you are. They like being around you. They enjoy the time with you. Okay. Um, this person is, uh, they definitely feel like, um, I feel like I want to say this in the right way. Um, I feel like this person is, um, almost like they're like, oh my God, they're, they're, they're so afraid to lose the connection or they're more or less, they, 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 they feel like they'll do whatever they have to do, uh, to keep the connection. Okay. I think that's the best way to put that. Okay. All right. You know what? I really want to hold on to Aries. Okay. They want you to know that they want to hold on to you. Uh, they want to save you for themselves. Okay. That's the four of pentacles kind of energy. And then we see the, the nine of pentacles. That's the nine of pentacles. Normally the nine of pentacles card would be, uh, one person, but in this particular deck, the nine of pentacles has a bunch of people there. And the nine of pentacles talks about somebody who's focused on money self-focused um, the nine of pentacles can talk about single and available so they would like you to be single and available uh, obviously they may feel like you entertain a lot of suitors or you may have a lot of people around you that you know get your attention 
Um, and I feel like this person is telling you or wants to tell you that they're willing to be patient because they want things to be brought into balance for them with the temperance card energy coming out. And so, you know, um, they're weighing their options too. That's what I feel like with that back and forth kind of energy going on. And then going further, let's also clarify with Lenormand here. So Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about. What is Aries love interest secret you want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Store card energy. Yes, they want some improvements and changes in this connection because they want to hold on to you. There we see a person card coming out. Now, the person card could be you. It could be the love interest. It could be the person infringing upon the connection. So they want some kind of change because obviously we're seeing the temperance, seeing, okay. And then the nine of pentacles is like, there's a lot of people there. So we see they're at a crossroads where they want you to make some kind of choice. They want you to know that they want you to make a choice so that they can have some improvements and changes here. They want to hold on to you for their success here with that four pentacles energy. Um, we see going down to the next card here that this card right here, that the, the page of cups is here. So. I can see from this card here that they do want to send you a message of love. They want this new path in love, but it's like almost like there's a hesitation. They want to like this. There's like this new aspect of this love connection and it's naivete here. And I feel like it's like one person's like all in, but then the other person's like, whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Kind of energy. Okay. And then, um, I see here the King of Swords. So this person's like, all right, you know what, Aries, I just want to say and do the right things here, okay, with the King of Swords energy. And they want to tell you that they're like, I'm playing politics here, okay? And I feel like this person's like, uh, feeling like they have to, to fight for their, the higher ground, you know, fight for their position. And uh, they feel a bit overwhelmed by that. And we see the ship card, travel. So they want to send you a message of love and uh, good news about travel movement or change. They're very hopeful about this connection with the star card energy and garden card again. So I feel like there's something to do with people involved with your connection, family or friends, or some people that are around you. That this person's like having, they almost feel like they're being bullied or they're, they're you know, uh, they're, they're definitely feeling like a bit overwhelmed by what's going on. And so they want to fight for this. They do want to fight for this connection. All right, let's keep going here. And if we see what is this person card about? Travel, movement, or change because of a group of people or something to do with going out. There's a hopefulness about this person. They want a positive outcome when it comes to improvements or changes in a decision. Okay, let's keep going. Aries love interest. The one they're here for, the one they want to know about. Aries love interest. What does Aries love interest secretly want to tell Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so they really have looked at this and they've analyzed this and they've looked at this deeply with the isolation card about how to change the situation or they even want to change locations to be around you and they really want to do whatever they can to hold on to this connection. Okay, this person really wants the opportunity. All right, they want the opportunity with you and they want you to themselves. That's the nine of pentacles energy. This person would like to heal this connection. Uh, there's indecisions about this situation because something may not be an equal give and take because of a reconciliation or this person's really thought about this and they would like an opportunity to reconcile or for some of you to be a healing connection for you. Okay. And then let's keep going further. Yeah, this person is like, I want some kind of travel movement or change here in this new path in love, and I want things to move in my favor. And so they're they're trying to do and say all the right things, and they're trying to be hopeful about this connection, and they want to gain knowledge here about this situation. They do have a sense that something is secret here, okay? Book car can talk about secrets, or they're trying to use their intuition to kind of do the right things and and, and or because the book card can represent intuition for me, like the high priestess card energy, 
something spiritual and we see the star card energy being a spiritual energy this person may feel like there's a they want to tell you that they realize that there's a deeper connection here so they want to communicate with you and they want to defend their position they want to they feel like they have the higher ground here and they want to have a heart to heart conversation to gain knowledge so what's this book card energy about? This gaining knowledge about this isolation and separation and the reconciliation. They want an opportunity for things to turn in their favor and they want to communicate and talk to you and speak with you about that. Going further. All right, so we got the Queen of Wands energy. This person has attraction towards you and they're trying to be patient here. They do have that chemistry and passion, but they're trying to, for me, I feel like they're, they're kind of, not letting you know okay i feel like this person's like you know hesitant to let you know uh because they still are wanting to gain some kind of knowledge so if you look at this queen of wands if you see what's going on there with the queen of wands energy you see how she's holding that book and she is like holding that wand up like that and she's like okay let's see what happens it's like almost like a barometer like uh, you know to kind of like see what's happening and you see how that book's right there so you see how the, the book is the central theme here. This person's holding back because they have uncertainty about what's going on with you. And we see Seven of Pentacles coming out here. You can see how that person's like, I'm spending, 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 right? I'm going to put the effort into this. But then there's this hesitation there. But this Seven of Pentacles shows, you know, someone who's standing their ground, but on, on a defensive because they need to gain knowledge about what's going on here. Um, Seven of Pentacles talks about waiting around to see how things are going to play out. Sevens talk about analyzing, thinking, contemplating about this potential, you know, about this passion energy. Should I, you know, should I not? Okay. They do want to have a conversation, though, to gain knowledge because the book card's right there about love. There you go, the heart card energy. So they want to tell you they want to have this conversation about love. Um, and we see that the Four of Cups energy is here. And interesting enough, for this particular deck, this Four of Cups, for, for, for me, looks like the Five of Cups. Like this person's been through it, right? And the Four of Cups energy, this Four of Cups energy, for me, speaks of like, oh my God, I've been torn to pieces and how can I go further, right? It's like they almost have a sense that they're going to miss some kind of opportunity or whatever they offer to you, you're not going to accept Aries. Yeah, and that's the mice card causing stress. Conversation about love and stresses. Or conversation about love and they feel like something's being taken away. Okay, so going further. Yes, we know that that card was going to come out. There is this obsessive energy here and strong desires around this connection. But the deception card is coming out. It's like they can't be honest with you about it. Okay, or they feel like something's deceptive. And they're very shocked and surprised, okay? So you've really taken them by surprise. You've really shocked them. Um, so going further, they've really looked at this deeply and they have something, sense that there's something secret that's really shocking and surprising. Or they've looked at this deeply and they're trying to gain knowledge, but this connection for them has really taken them by surprise, okay? There's something to do with this reconciliation and healing and gaining knowledge because of this obsessive energy, this strong desire, strong obsessions. So going further, they've looked at this deeply, they are obsessed, you have shocked and surprised them, they would like to reconcile or heal the connection, they'd like an opportunity for things to move in their favor, and they want to have a conversation about these deceptions here, okay, because they have a sense that something is secret here, okay, or they just need to gain knowledge about it, okay. And then obviously the mice card wants to go across the, the way there, so obviously it can do with stress could be a lot to do with stress anxiety okay going further here okay so this person wants to travel towards you right they want some improvements and changes they may start want to start a family with you the star card energy but this there's something to do with a person that is leaving them at a crossroads um, they again this, the ship card some kind of long distance situation travel movement or change they're trying to be hopeful when it comes to going out or there's something to do with a group of people they want to have a conversation about love and the stress that they're dealing with and obviously you see the central theme of this they're hoping for a positive outcome here all right so let's move this out of the way
and let's look at this outcome here. Okay, so we have the Eight of Swords energy. We have the Nine of Cups energy, okay. And then we have the Eight of Cups energy. Okay. It's interesting about this Eight of Cups energy because something about this Eight of Cups talks about a child. Um, okay, so let's talk about the definitions first. Maybe I should just talk about what I feel here. Um, I feel like this person feels like they're going to get hurt and there is a want for approval here and also uh, some sense of a child or children involved in the situation or a want to start a family. Okay, for some potential around that. Okay, so let's talk about the definitions. Uh, Eight of Swords is like, my hands are tied, there's nothing I can do about it, okay? Uh, it's like, I wanna fulfill my desires here, but on the same token, should I walk away physically or mentally? Eight of Cups. Okay, going further. Remember, we're also talking about potential outcome here. House and family, and a lot of emotions at play. And there is an opportunity here, key card energy. So yeah, wow, Lenormand's, that's interesting. Lenormand's like there is house and family, something to do with the house, stability and stables, and money and some kind of opportunity or a lot of emotions at play and some kind of opportunity around this for a stable situation. And something to do with saying yes, okay, going further. There's a want to gain control here. That's like the emperor card energy. Okay. Gain control. So someone's going to assert their, their authority here to make a decision very soon about emotions because of the stress of this opportunity and wanting to walk away. So obviously with you guys, and I, I there was another, um, I think it was cancer, also how this situation where it was kind of a cliffhanger, still some things yet to be decided. This is saying there is this want to gain control because of this trapped energy or stuck energy when it comes to a house, family, or a home. And this defensive energy here for me or about fulfilling desires when it comes to emotions and a decision that needs to be made here around this opportunity is causing a lot of stress about, all right, do I want to, do I want to walk away physically or mentally of this connection? Okay. All right, my beautiful Aries, if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue it this way, or you have other suggestions of how to improve upon this reading, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Um, the next reading that will be out is X Returns, and then after that it's gonna be their true uh, feelings, because that's the ones that you guys wanted me to do, because I had asked you in the last couple readings which ones next. Um, so I'll see you guys another day or two, and also you can check out the uh, next two weeks, the mid-monthlies, the, the weeklies are up and available for you guys to watch right now. And for the free reading contest, all you can do is put Twin Flames in the comments below, picking two people for a free personal reading. I love you guys so much and have a great rest of your month and I will see you guys soon.